This is Pasties Herb. We are a team on an assignment to build the fate of men and set their hearts on fire through the media system. With hundreds of insightful videos here on our channel, we hope to bless and bond with you. Don't forget to click the like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe. We love and celebrate you. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me Say you one more time with faith in your heart Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a song. If this enters you as a revelation, something will happen to your life. You know, I was watching a video some days ago, and I was watching A.A. A. Allen. It's a, it was a very old video. And I watched this man. They brought a man on a wheelchair. Deaf. No, no, he was not deaf, but he was dumb. He could not speak. And he was grounded on the wheelchair. And A. A. Allen was just preaching and was sharing the secrets to the power of God in his own life. And all the things that God gave him. And when he was done talking, the people were watching. I don't know why those days they didn't clap and cheer up like we are. And I wonder how those guys preach. You would say something powerful and yet everybody would be looking like you are lying. And he turned right to that gentleman and the wife was standing there. And he said, how long has he been in this situation? Could not talk, could not walk. And he held him casually. Ah! Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. He laid his hands and in an instant, not gradually, in an instant, that man's tongue was unloosed or unlocked. And he, he lifted him and began to ask him questions. And he told him to stand up. Someone sat on the wheelchair and the man started pushing the wheelchair. I said, oh God, help us, help us. What did we lose? What did we miss in this generation? Same power that conquered the grave lives in you. Lives in you. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Our generation is at the mercy of the manifestation of the power of God from the saints to redeem this evil and depraved generation. This is not a generation of blind loyalty again. The generation of our, of our parents would believe even if they don't understand. But this generation is a generation of questions. If you say he lifts, prove it. If you say he changes lives, prove it. We are not going to just believe and say yes sir for nothing. Ministry without the power of God is only an invitation into a life of frustration. Believe me when I tell you. Business without the power of God. Parenting without the power of God. We live in a time where you will see a child, five years old, and then he begins to confess. I killed my father. I killed my uncle. I killed my mother. And you are wondering, five years The darkness that is upon the earth today will require more than good speaking, good discussion. It will take a display of power, genuine power as of old. And it has nothing to do with being in ministry as you know. Power. Please hear me. 
I wrote here, the believer's efficiency as a child of God and as a witness is power dependent. Write it down, please. The believer's efficiency as a child of God and as a witness is power dependent. No matter how prepared you are to be a witness, you can learn doctrine, wonderful. You can learn character, wonderful. But if the power component is not captured in your preparation, believe me, it will look like God did not send you. I hope you know that Moses already began to learn the wisdom of Egypt according to Paul's teaching before he left to encounter the God of the Bible. Yet when he was returning, God said, no, no, I will not send you just like that. Take this rod. It's a rod wherewith you will rot signs and wonders. Let me submit to you sincerely. Our generation needs a revival of genuine power. Our understanding of power for the average believer in this generation is falling down and standing up. And while we do not downplay anything that is sponsored by the Spirit, there is a level of power. We need to go back to study history. How far did God use these men? How far did God anoint them? Men who shook cities by such a display of power. You know, let me tell you the truth. Today we pride in having revelation. You listen to those people, sometimes they had a simple childlike message. Repent, Jesus is Lord. Then they say, now sit down and watch. I'm done talking. I have told you to repent. You are justified to not understand it. But let me show you what he can do. When the blind see, when the deaf hear, when the dead are raised back to life, when lives change, that one is the manifestation of the power of God. And this is one of the things that we are missing. You will go to a crusade that is full of tens of thousands of people and preach and preach and make another call and only five people will come out. Is that a crusade? You sang, you acted drama. There were all kinds of motivations. You even shared water and shared all kinds of drinks to motivate the people. And then you preach and out of tens of thousands of people go and read Acts chapter 2 the Bible says when the Holy Ghost fell 3,000 people in a moment 3,000 people one moment no clashing of cymbal no bass guitar no keyboard programming any atmosphere but when power came and power fell Peter said this is that this is that which was spoken by Prophet Joel. There's frustration in ministry today because the power component has not been incorporated. There is frustration today in the presence of darkness because genuine power. We have not paid the price. And for those who have tasted a bit of it, we have camped around that peripheral level. Whereas there are deeper levels of power. Yes, sir.